back to the F12. Man, I haven't been in this thing for quite a few weeks, and in fact, looking back, I think this is the first video that I've made in England for about a month, like since before Gumball. So it's really good to be back in the F12, back in England, and making more content for you guys. So today is a little bit of a different format. Um, something happened a few days ago, which actually prompted me to make this video. I uh, logged onto my YouTube dashboard, which I do every day, and the advertising earnings on that dashboard had gone absolutely mental. There was a glitch on YouTube, and my ad earnings had gone to, I think it was like $23 million. Um, and yeah, it, it actually prompted me to make this video, which is, as you read the title, is why I do YouTube. And the reason for that is, when I read that figure, $23 million, the first thing that came to mind is, what would I do differently? And the first thing I thought was, do you know what? I'd still be doing YouTube. And I honestly thought long and hard about that. I thought, with that sort of cash, you can do anything. And the first thing that came to mind was, I'd still be filming. I'd still get my, my camera out every day. And in fact, if anything, if I had that much cash and that much freedom, I would probably step up my YouTube game even further because I just love it. And it just got me thinking really, you know, why do I do YouTube? And I think it's probably a good thing to share it with you guys. I'm not in YouTube for the money. I mean, as much as the perks of the advertising revenue are nice, it's not a game changer by any means. So why do I do it? Well, looking back, I've only been on YouTube for six or seven months. And I can honestly say in that time since being involved in this game, it's enhanced my life to do an immeasurable amount. I looked back through my videos where I started, the people I've met, where I've been, the cars I've driven. And for someone who is so in love with cars, who is such a diehard and petrol head, the opportunities that YouTube has opened up to me has just been absolutely incredible. It's, it's exceeded my wildest expectations. My original goal was just to be able to share my experiences with other people because I found myself around nice cars and in some pretty cool situations anyway. And I thought, do you know what? It's not every day you get to experience these things and it'd be great to put it out there and share it with people because before I could afford these cars, you know, I was on YouTube, I was reading magazines and all I wanted to do was be involved in cars more. I just wanted to know more about supercars. And I was very fortunate in business and in, in life that I had the opportunity to afford these cars and actually get involved in this world. And now I'm here and I'm in it. I just wanted to share it. I wanted to be able to uh, almost contribute something back to the YouTube scene which I used to look at before all of this ever happened. So, yeah, what started off as fun grew into something crazy. I mean, a couple of weeks ago, my channel hit 100,000 subscribers, which still saying those words is absolutely mad. So now I'm in this position where we're building this amazing little hub of die-hard petrol head fans. And I'm sure if you read in the comments, Everyone who watches these videos is so passionate. The questions are really great. It, you guys have contributed to this channel so much. You've carved out the direction it goes. You've really helped me elevate my content to the next level because your feedback's so good. Starting YouTube started as fun and has elevated to something completely different and something so awesome that for now it's become a lifestyle thing it's very much gone from okay I'm gonna put out a few videos here and there to 
what I would now class myself as being a YouTuber, which is madness. I'm sure we've all had that chat at some point with friends. If you could do any job you wanted in the world, what would that job be? And let's keep it within the realms of reality here. As much as I'd like to be the next Lewis Hamilton, that isn't gonna happen. <laughs> so, for me, when I saw that figure, 23 million, you know, I was like, what would I do differently? And I swear to you, it was still YouTube. I'd still be doing YouTube, albeit it would probably be with some more incredible cars. Don't get me wrong, the cars I'm driving are insane. They are dream world stuff. I never thought I'd be sat here in an F12 talking with you guys you know, about things like this, but if YouTube wanted to uh, deposit $23 million into my account next week, uh, I'd probably be sat here from, I don't know, maybe a Zonda R or something, maybe, I don't know, something pretty extreme, and I would almost guarantee that every video from now on would be in a different car. <laughs> anyway, I spoke with uh, Paul from Supercars of London about this. I spoke to Sam from Seen Through Glass and Seb. And we all pretty much said exactly the same thing. We wouldn't change the fact that we do YouTube. It wouldn't be like, okay guys, thanks very much, game over, I'm done. If anything, we would improve our YouTube quality and I think bring you guys bigger and better content because we're all in it for the love, you know? At heart, we're all diehard petrol heads. We're big car fans and we love the creative side of it. So yeah, I'm in YouTube because of the people I've got to meet, the experiences, the cars. If anything, it allows me to immerse myself further in the things that I actually love doing and to be able to, to do things like this on a daily basis you know most mornings I wake up and I'm like is this actually happening is this reality right now take today for example we're driving an F12 I'm going to meet Paul Wallace we're on a weekday and we're gonna go and film driving a Ferrari blindfolded together with a great friend in supercars why would I change that you know and this is why I'm doing it mostly because I absolutely love it and secondly because it's amazing to be able to take you guys along for that experience as you've seen in the comments I read and reply to as many of them as I possibly can it's getting harder now the channel is growing fast and I'm super thankful for that but it is getting harder to get back to every message but I do read as many as I can and as you've seen, hopefully I get back to as many as I can too. So thank you so much for you know posting in the uh, comments. But if there's anything you guys really want to see, stick it in there because I read it. And you guys genuinely do carve out where this channel goes and what you'd like to see. So please keep coming up with that feedback. It is brilliant. Anyway. I'm on my way now to meet up with Paul Wallace. He's going to stick a blindfold on me and I'm going to go and drive this Ferrari. Sounds really safe. <laughs> um, and I'll see you next time for more fantastic opportunities, hopefully. See you next time, guys. Ciao.